Welcome in, everybody, and welcome to the October 2024 John Wolf Shareholder Meeting. Come on in and have a seat. We'll get started in just one moment. Once again, uh, you may know this if you're a longtime shareholder, but uh, we will not be providing drinks or snacks, so you'll have to bring your own. Thank you. Um, all right, is everybody settled in? Everybody here? If you've never been to a shareholder meeting before, raise your hand. Don't actually raise your hand, please. That's cringe. But since you're new around here, I'll go ahead and give you a lowdown of what these shareholder meetings are. What we do is we look back at the last month of uploads here on John Wolf, and we take a look back at what games were played, what videos were posted, what the general receptions to them was, what was uh, my thought process behind posting those games and those videos, and then we look forward to the next month, in this case, October, and we look forward to what will be posted. You'll get a little preview of what games we posted, what videos are planned, that type of thing. So basically, this is um, your one-stop shop monthly for every everything John Wolf. So let's go ahead and get started with it. Let's take a look at what was posted since the September 2024 shareholder meeting, which was right here. So last shareholder meeting, we were in the middle of playing a little game called Fez. I was playing it for um, our Spine Chill podcast book club, which right here, episode 53, we talked about Fez. We all played it and we all came together to have a group discussion about it. Um, now, the playthrough wasn't super exciting for everyone, I think partially because it's like a 15 year old game. It's, you know, most people know about it. If you don't know about it, you're probably not interested, that kind of thing. It's like a retro platformer puzzle game which isn't this uh, channel's audience's uh, cup of tea, right? Of course, I, I'm fine with posting things like that. You know, I posted Insomniac Spider-Man games in full. You know, I'm fine with posting things that maybe aren't super interesting to all the shareholders here. And I'm glad that I played Fez, but, uh, you know, I am also happy that it only took five videos to get through because uh, I didn't like it that much. But I appreciated it, and I'm glad that I now got to experience some important indie gaming history. Other than that, let's see, the main playthrough of the month, main playthrough of the channel right now is Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, if you've been paying attention, you know that uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 videos are posted generally every three days or so. Sometimes there's one posted every second day, but then there might be four days for the next one. In general, about every three days, and that's because the videos are very long, some of them are only two hours 10, <laughs> only, but some of them are over three hours. And in fact, there'll be one, if you're watching this live, part 12 will be posted tomorrow and that video is almost five hours long. It's the long awaited hunting episode. Um, the reception to Red Dead Redemption 2 has been very good. In fact, I've been surprised at how well the videos have been doing. Not only are the views very good, but the comments are super high. Um, even though, for example, Crow Country has like four times the views of Red Dead Redemption Part 10, uh, they're very similar in terms of comment count. So that should tell you how much you know people are enjoying Red Dead Redemption 2 and finding things to comment on and really getting into it. So I like that. And uh, you know, as with every game, there's people that pop up here and there that are kind of snippety or weird about how I'm playing the game or how I'm making the videos, etc. But for the most part, everybody has been really chill and pleasant. So I appreciate that a lot. Um, probably the most, <laughs> probably the most annoying thing that I get comments on is not even that annoying. It's like, you really should give Arthur a bath. Uh, you need to clean your guns, by the way, they're filthy. Uh, a lot of clean freaks in the comments, basically. So, but uh, don't worry. Um, you know, I'll, I'll start being more cleanliness minded. Cleanliness is next to godliness, as some of you all know. And as some of you don't know, by the way, I just, I, sorry, I got to roast you for a second. But if you got, if you're the type of person that got clothes on the floor in your bedroom, I don't really want to hear you lecturing me about giving Arthur a bath, okay? Time to, time to pick up around the house a little bit, if you ask me. But yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2 has been a great playthrough. I'm hoping to finish it by the end of the year, December 2024, um, just in case you forgot when the end of the year was. And I think we're well on 
track to do that. Now, I do have an announcement about Red Dead Redemption 2 videos in October, but we'll be saving that for when we talk about October. Uh, real quick, we'll just wrap this up. We played the casting of Frank Stone, which is a choice game from Supermassive in the Dead by Daylight universe. And I broke my rule that I created after I played Detroit Become Human, which is no more choice games on the channel. But I'm willing to break it for Supermassive because, as I said in the series, I think people that know these games understand that, like, they're cheesy, they're for fun, you don't like the characters anyway, so nobody's, like, super invested if they die. So generally, the comments are are fine. And that was the case for this one. Um, I mean, I did have some people here and there that were just like... You know, I was complaining because one character dies without a QTE. Multiple, actually, but yeah, one in particular dies without a QTE. And and there were some people that were just like, actually, you could have saved them if you had gotten an optional item early in the game. And the optional item I didn't have, I didn't see anywhere. Uh, apparently, you have to choose to go to a location that I didn't choose to go to. So, um, you know, little things like that here and there that I'm like, you know, okay, but come on, be reasonable, okay? That's that's a bullshit death. But other than that, it's been um, it's been fine, and the the reception to the series was pretty high, probably higher than the game itself. Speaking of which, um, that's definitely the case for Hollow Body. Um, probably the most middle of the road playthrough of the month, but I'm glad I played it. Um, it's like a Classic survival horror game, very, very um, reminiscent of a Silent Hill, like a PS2 Silent Hill game. Um, but yeah, not exactly the most excited response, which I totally understand. Uh, let's see, we've been playing Lethal Company, which has been great. I don't know when or if there will be a part 20, just so you know. Um, we ten tend to move on to other games, and then when we move on to other games, we don't really go backwards very often unless there's a big update so you may not see new lethal company videos uh until there's a major update but with that said there's always going to be new easy small content with me gab gary and Sino coming up so uh in fact i'm not sure if this has been posted by now but project unknown we revisited so um there's always new easy small content coming up uh, and then we also played Crow Country, which the reception to this, you know, was was pretty good. Uh, it is definitely like horror game of the year material, in my opinion. It's very reminiscent of like Resident Evil 1, for example, like PS1 style horror. But it, it also modernizes it in a very satisfying way. And the reception to this has been very good. Um, I didn't do very well in like an arcade quiz and I was really bracing myself to get roasted for it, but then you guys were really nice. So I don't know what kind of trick you're trying to pull, but I'm on to you, okay? Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, but yeah, Crow Country, you know, I think probably, you know, since I posted it super late, like it came out five months ago, you know, that might be why most people that are, were interested in this game already watched it, but it still did pretty well. So I'm happy with that. And I'm happy with the game too. I also did a couple of like game list reactions, which had a lot of excitement around them. Uh, I took them from my stream. I streamed them live at twitch.tv slash John Wolf. And uh, we reacted to Dexerto's top 100 games list, which is like three hours long. And it's mostly me going, <sighs> uh, but it, it seemed to, people seem to really like that. So I did another one I did. Reacting to Game Rant's top 16 scariest games of all time. Spoiler alert, Doki Doki Literature Club is on it. Uh, but you can see that from the thumbnail. Um, I'm probably going to do more of these reaction videos because it's more of the type of content that I want to do on stream. Like kind of reaction rather than playing games on stream. Because I play enough games here. I kind of want this to be like my games place if I can help it. And I want my streams to be more like my main channel content where it's like reacting to stuff or more personality based I guess so that is what's going on there I'm going to do more of those until it becomes unfun so far the comments uh, on the reaction videos are really positive people are really enjoying it even if you know people disagree with me or don't like what I had to say that's that's fine everybody's been civil and uh, as long as it doesn't become unfun I'll continue doing it so expect you know one or two of those a month from this point on Okay, let's talk about next month, October. 
Spooky Scary Game Month. We've talked about it in the previous shareholder meetings, uh, but this month is going to be chock full of horror games. Which horror games? Well, obviously, I'm going to be playing Silent Hill 2 Remake, so let's talk about that. Silent Hill 2 Remake, the long-awaited uh, remake from Bloober Team of the original game by Konami, is releasing on October 8th. Oh wait, though, if you pre-order the game, you can play it on October 6th. Now, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get a code for this game to play it early. I wouldn't bet on it. I have been, like, in talks with Konami, actually, about playing the game early, but things have kind of fizzled out, and I don't know if I'm going to get a code. I probably won't. It's okay. You know, whatever. I'm not, like, losing sleep over it these days. Um, so I'll probably... You know, more often, or more often than not, more likely than not, I will be playing and posting Silent Hill 2 Remake Part 1 on October 8th. Now, I do realize that there's going to be a lot of people posting it on October 6th. Unfortunately, there's nothing I could do about that. Even if I did pre-order the game and get it early, um, I will actually, um, Kimmy and I have some family plans over uh, the few days leading up to the 8th. And so I will actually be unavailable to play anything during that time. So I'm going to have to do a backlog. So part one on October 8th, almost guaranteed, unless I get a code on like the second or something like that. But uh, that's when it'll be coming. I'm anticipating doing maybe like three videos on it or something like that. I know I just said earlier when I was talking about last month's videos that I'm going to aim for like an hour median time for the videos this month. But for Silent Hill 2 Remake... Probably going to go higher than that. Actually, for part ones in general, I'll probably go more like two hours. Just because it's really important to get um, as much time in as possible in that first video. Uh, just strategically uh, for viewership uh, when most people are clicking on it. So, uh, those are my plans for Silent Hill 2 Remake. Until Dawn Remake is releasing October 4th. Now, unfortunately, I will be unavailable on that day uh so i will not be playing until dawn remake until after i'm done with sound hill 2 remake so again i'm sorry i can't get to these games like immediately when they come out um but that's just how i'm gonna have to do it and that's okay i've played through until dawn so many times and i don't really need to like be i don't need to like be there first on day one to oh, what's the what's the remake like uh, as well as, let's see, another new game that's coming out on October 17th is A Quiet Place, The Road Ahead. So I'll be posting part one on that day. It's being developed by the Remothered developers. So that's going to be interesting. Official movie license, Remothered developers, October 17th. So those are all of the new horror games that I have planned and scheduled ahead of time to play for the month of October. So you got um, Until Dawn, probably going up something like October 12th, I'm going to say, because uh, I'll probably be done with Silent Hill 2 Remake by then, and Silent Hill 2 Remake October 10th, or October 8th, sorry, uh, and then Quiet Place Road Ahead, part, uh, or October 11th. So those are the three big horror games. Um, Slitterhead comes out November 8th, so that's not going to be this month, but that's something I have on the horizon. There's a game called Zucosis. That's like an indie horror game that probably by the time you're watching this, it came out. Um, that's probably going to be something we kick off the month by playing. So um, that's going to be one of the first games that we play uh, in the beginning of the month. I'm also going to be playing through... Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit, which uh, has came out a couple months ago, and I wanted to check out. So those are some of my ideas for the month of October. Some other possibilities and, and probabilities that we have here. I'm going to go through a list of things you will see in October, okay? Silvio Black Waters, otherwise known as Silvio 3. This is the third Silvio game. It came out pretty recently. If you had, had any interest in, in in my original playthrough or my replaythrough of Silvio, uh, you might be interested in this. This will be coming up. Um, I'm also, you know, for the love of God, I am going to be playing through Fears to Fathom episode 4 and 5. Thank you. Oh my God. I will be playing through both of them this month. You know, I know I just said possibilities, but I will be playing those because 
Holy shit, you guys comment about that a lot. I, I am I have been aware of it. Believe it or not, I pay a lot of attention to this stuff. I just I just lack the uh the the enthusiasm and, and wanting to get to it right away. I like to hold things back for fun, to have things to look forward to, but not everyone thinks like that. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one that thinks like that, and it can be frustrating. All right, we got through the salty part of the video. Now let's move on. Um, might also play through The Bridge Curse 2. The sequel came out a few months ago. Um, we're gonna be playing through Mirror Layers, uh, the Steam version. I played through the Game Jolt version years ago. Uh, but we'll be playing through that for sure. I am also going to finally check out Dead Signal from Reflex Studios, the Welcome to the Game developer. Um, so those are all like, we're, you're probably going to see those soon. Um, there also is a game called Conscript that I wanted to check out, but I don't have much information on it. I just wrote it down. Now, in addition to, those are all games that either came out... Um, this year or close to it mirror layers came out uh, a couple years ago but uh, they're all very new and recent stuff now i haven't forgotten about my promise to play gabriel knight the war or the beast within uh and that i'm hoping you know this month might be a good time to try to work that in i still have yet to schedule everything on every day uh, in October, but I'd like to play through that game if I can. That makes sense to me. It's a kind of a horror adventure game, even if it is cheesy FMV from the 90s. And I have been saying that I'll play it for quite some time, so I'm hoping to work that in. I'd also, I'm, I'm going to refrain from saying what it is, but there is a retro PS2 game that I've been wanting to play for a long time that I am going to try to work in later in the month. Uh, so I'm not gonna say exactly what it is in case I can't get to it. I don't wanna build hype up for it and then not post it. But um, it's a game that if you're a fan of PS2 horror games, uh, you'll probably uh, be really looking forward to it, is what I'll say. But uh, yeah, I'll be playing a hard copy of the game on my backwards compatible PS3, just like the old days when I used to do that for videos and um, I'm looking forward to hopefully running through that now the reason I don't want to say you know exactly like here are the days when it's coming and stuff like that is because um, even though I have time scheduled for Sound Hill 2 remake until dawn a quiet place the road ahead uh, I want to leave a little bit of flexibility and days open in case a game comes out that maybe hasn't been marketed very well and we don't know the release date for because sometimes that can happen you know october 26th rolls around and people are like have you seen uh uh dark sewers colon jacob's story and i'm like huh you know and then it's like yeah, everybody's playing it and it just kind of came out of nowhere so i want to uh leave room open for experiences like that too but yeah those are the general plans for october you may have noticed uh, that I did not say anything about Red Dead Redemption 2. So here's the plan with Red Dead Redemption 2, and you'll find this out. It'll be reiterated for you. If, if, you're, if you're not a shareholder and you're just watching the playthrough, shame on you. Uh, I'll be saying this at the end of part 12 as well. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of a break from posting Red Dead Redemption 2, just to post a lot of horror stuff, kind of spam post horror videos, and also because I tend to need like a little break to catch up with these big playthroughs because I record so far ahead. I did this with Baldur's Gate uh, 3 as well. Uh, it's hard to find like a proper stopping point with Red Dead Redemption 2 though. Like with Baldur's Gate 3, I took a break after each act, after act one and after act two. It's hard to find those types of breaks and Red Dead Redemption 2, so I'm just kind of uh, picking one now. It seems like a natural break. Now, I'm I'm not gonna completely stop for the month. There, I'm just gonna take a couple weeks off, and then we'll probably get back to Red Dead Redemption 2 in the middle of October sometime. I'm not gonna say exactly when, because it'll depend on, you know, if I've caught up on everything else that I've been meaning to play. But uh, yeah, we'll be taking a couple of weeks off, which I think is fine considering how long these videos have been. Um, you know, so if if you're like no, then the 
part 12 is going to be, like I said, almost five hours long. So you could, you could kind of piece it out like an hour at a time if you wanted to. I'm just saying, you know, you could execute my strategy. Leave yourself something to look forward to. All right, that should do it, I think, for this October 2024 shareholder meeting. Uh, now, you know, once again, I'm, I'm aware that not everyone attends these shareholder meetings because they think they don't have to. And then they sit around scratching their heads in the comments and being like, what about Obama? Who well, said he was gonna do that? And then they, you know, they're confused. So if you see anybody like that, any poor lost souls, uh, feel free to say something snarky to them about maybe not being a shareholder. Uh, don't pick fights or anything, but you know, maybe that'll motivate them to check these videos out. They're not that long. Well, this one's like 20 minutes, damn. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for tuning in. Um, on your way out, you know, make sure you sign the sign-in sheet so we know you were here. Uh, that, that means that means leave a comment. That means leave a comment. Do you get it? The sign-in sheet's down there. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Bye.